Hey guys, welcome back to Be A Creative. Thanks for stopping by today and checking out day three of my Hanukkah tag series. Today's tag's a little out there, right? I know, it's not for everybody. That's okay. I just really happen to like this color combination. I think blue and red is really powerful, so it tends to show up in quite a bit of my work. But if that's not for you, feel free to change it up. Not that you need my permission at all. But pick colors that are going to match your personal aesthetic, if you will. This technique that I'm doing today is so much fun, and it is also so simple and it's super quick. You could easy make five, ten of these tags in about 15 minutes. I picked up this technique from Mixed Up Creative Academy on Facebook and the owner was kind enough to let me demonstrate it here on my channel. She's super awesome and has worked hard to create an amazing environment for mixed media artists to learn and share. You're going to need a size 8 manila tag. I'm using the Distress brand from Tim Holtz. You're also going to need some scrap piece of paper. I'm using one that I had previously jelly pinched on. It's also where I cut out the die from my Cricut. Some gesso. I'm using Dina Wakely Media. Some Dina Wakely Media heavy body acrylics, but you can also do this with alcohol inks and the effect is just as amazing if you're using acrylics. You're also going to need that same stamp set from Lawn Fawn that we've been using all week. Some sticky foam adhesives and some saran wrap. Now, let's get started. The first thing that you're going to want to do is put down some gesso. If you don't have gesso and you're going to do this with acrylics, I think that's probably okay. I personally think it works better on gesso. Now if you're going to do this with alcohol inks, then you definitely need to put down a layer of gesso first if you're using just regular cardstock. Alcohol inks work best on non-porous surfaces, and the gesso will help replicate that. Let that dry, and then go ahead and grab your acrylic paints. Squirt some water down on the tag first, and then you want to just drop some tiny little droplets of acrylic paint onto your surface. You don't need a lot because it gets really fluid with the amount of water that we're going to add. Give it a couple of good squirts, and then just have fun. There was no rhyme or reason when I started putting color down on the tag. I just did what I want. I did what felt good. Do the same. I like a little bit of white space left in my tags, but if that's not for you, then feel free to cover the entire tag. It's really what you like and what you enjoy doing. Once you get that acrylic paint down, add a little bit more water. I think the more fluid this is, the better it works. And you'll see this technique used sometimes in watercolor painting as well. The saran wrap does not have to be balled up. I don't know what I was doing. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Just go ahead and smush it down on top of the tag. You want all of those crazy ridges and little... I don't know what to call them to appear uh, ridges again, I guess would be the best way to describe it. Smush it down. Uh, yes, that is the technical term that I just came up with. And then you want to just let it alone. Don't touch it. Let it dry. The acrylic paints will take quite a bit of time to dry, but the alcohol inks will dry fairly quickly. This tag, I used alcohol inks. I did the exact same thing as the acrylic paint and just with alcohol inks. I used that previously jelly printed piece of paper to cut the die cut from my Cricut. Again, if you don't have dies or you don't have a Cricut, I think the background is pretty enough that you could just leave it. Slap on a Happy Hanukkah sentiment or a Merry Christmas or whatever it is you want to say put it on the tag. I'm going to go around the edges with some distress black soot. I was not crazy about the black soot. Um, it, it doesn't really show up that well when you're using acrylics. So as much as I keep using it, every single time I'm done, I have one of those, ah, I should have used stays on ink. Anytime you're doing anything with alcohol ink or acrylic paint, you want to use an archival ink because otherwise pigment inks will not dry on your surface. They will just smear. But something like Stazon, which is a solvent-based ink, 
will actually dry eventually and most archival inks are dye inks which means they soak into the paper and they will dot they will dry as well so you can see I didn't really get that great of an impression with the distress ink I wanted something a little bit more bolder more powerful more boom in your face that was unnecessary I apologize I wanted something just a little bit more defined and even though I made that tiny little mistake it's okay now I'm going to stamp my sentiment from the Lawn Fawn stamp set with Versafine, which is a pigment ink. Pigment inks sit right on the surface of the paper, which is why they're super cool and you can use them to emboss with. I like to stamp sentiments with Versafine or some other pigment ink because they always leave a really crisp impression. You do need to heat set that though. Otherwise, you'll stick your finger in it and smear it, and you'll have to redo the whole thing. Trust me. I can't tell you how many times I've done that. I'm going to take that same VersaFine ink pad and go around the edges of the sentiment just to darken it up a little bit. And you can see I'm not super careful about it. I kind of just drag it across the top of the ink pad. It works well with cardstock. Again, you want to give that time to dry before you handle it, or you'll get ink all over everything. We're going to plop that down on the tag with some of those sticky foam adhesives and I'm going to cover up that little mistake I made. You know, can't even see that now. It's like it never happened. Because I don't measure anything before I do it, I am going to have to trim off the edges and I'm not going to worry about going back over it either with the, the edging. You can't even really tell. So there we have it. This great little tag for night three of Hanukkah. Thank you guys so much, and I look forward to seeing you next time.